The most interesting fact about cholecystitis is it classic referred pain pattern. Once again, referred pain, right, my friends? Which perfectly illustrates, illustrates how the brain can misinterpret signals from internal organs. So, an attack of acute cholecystitis often causes severe, sharp pain, not just in the abdomen, but also on the tip of the right shoulder or right scapula, so-called boas sign. So, the anatomical detour we've got. There are no direct, no direct nerve connection between the gallbladder, located under the liver, of course, and the shoulder. The connection is indirect and based on a shared embryonic origins. No, we think like that. The phrenic nerve is a key. So, the gallbladder becomes inflamed and irritates the diaphragm. The large muscle in its, it sits beneath. <clears throat> the diaphragm is innervated by, yes, by the phrenic nerve. Great. So, a case of mistaken identity. The phrenic nerve originates in the neck from the same spinal nerve roots, C3, C4, C5, that also provide sensory Inflammation, uh, information, sorry, sensory information from the skin over the right shoulder. And the brain gets confused, you understand? When the phrenic nerve sends frantic pain signals from the irritated diaphragm, the brain can easily tell if the signal is coming from the diaphragm, no, can't easily tell. If the signal is coming from diaphragm, cannot, right? Or from the shoulder. Because the brain is far more accustomed, accustomed uh, to receiving pain signals from the skin, so-called somatic pain, than from internal organs, visceral pain. So it misinterprets the signal and creates the sensation of pain in the shoulder. This phenomenon is a perfect high-yield example of referred pain. So a patient might come to the emergency department complaining primary of shoulder pain, completely unaware that the source of the, their agony is inflamed gallbladder. Call it status that we, so we've got. Recognizing this connection is a critical diagnostic skill. You understand, my beloveds? Great.